Hello everyone, welcome to another week in our garden. Very sunny at the moment, we've had two days of rain which have been very very good for the garden. It's slowed the planting out down a little bit, it's been very very good. The ground was so dry so it's done it the world of good. Right, we started in the greenhouse today. I have thinned the plants down a little by taking some down the garden and putting them in the tunnels. Most of the tomatoes that were going have gone and I have donated some to a good cause down the village today so that's got rid of a few more but although they'll be very welcome for them. Now the next things we're going to set it here will be the pumpkins and squashes so we'll just show you what we will be planting this week and we'll take the courgettes down and we'll plant those direct because the ground is so wet. This one is the spaghetti squash which is a new one for us, it would be interesting to see how we get on with that. Most of the others are just squashes and obviously the normal pumpkin for the granddaughters and the only thing a little bit different this year will be uh, these what we got from the vegetable gourmet vegetable seed they are your trombone squashes so we'll see how we get on with those as you can see I've started potting up the tomatoes into their final boxes as they grow up a little more we'll put the bigger canes on and when the tables are gone we'll spread them all out the other thing there is a few fuchsias that I'd like to bring on a little bit so I've popped those on the floor to so try and give them some warmth to bring them on. Everything else seems to be coming along fine, there's still a few tomatoes there. Some peppers coming through nicely. A little bit of beetroot there that I will plant in those groups when, when they're growing up a little bit. These are the cucumbers, these are femme spots. I have taken a few of the first flowers and fruits at the base of the stems off to encourage them to grow a bit better, a bit quicker. Now it, it's such nice weather at the moment, we'll pop down the garden and show you what we've been up to and what we'll do, we'll plant some yellow courgettes out and we'll put the nema slug on some of the potatoes and we'll have a look at the tunnel see if we can put some celery in okay now the peas and the beans are doing very well i've popped them outside so it gives some fresh air and if it does rain it'll do them the world again now as we just go past the shed you can see i've put the flowers all outside now and a little bit of celery, some fresh air and some pulling onion. Now as we're making our way down the garden you can see we've actually put the net on the fruit cage now. It'll help keep the birds off the buds. And the strawberries seem to be doing all right but we've had one or two black spot on them so the ones that's got the black spot now on the flowers obviously won't produce fruit but there are more flowers coming up so we're perfectly all right now we're on plot a what i shall be doing this next week or so we can't obviously can't do it today it's far too wet I should be putting the beetroot in beyond that where the onions are. Then I should take the cover off the broad beans, put it on the beetroot just to keep the birds off it a little while and let the broad beans go on a bit. If they need staking then we will have to stake them. The onions seem to be doing alright, they've had a bit of a battering from the rain 
and the pigeons taking off I see they've knocked some over but they'll be fine now on plot B you can see the brassicas and the lettuce the rain has done them the world of good I've got one or two holes in them that just shows that we're ready for putting the nemeslug on now also on plot C which has got the mesh tunnels on we was waiting for the celery to be ready for planting it's now ready but the, obviously the ground is too wet so I'll plant these in the week we're planting like we planted the brassicas I shall use the I should use the bulb planter and just drop them in. They seem to have an awful lot, but I only want maybe 30 plants. The rest I've got somebody who'll take those. The only other disaster we've had this last week, we had the very cold wind and it has taken out some of the few of the sweet corn we had so what i should do is i'll just get some more seed and reset and get some more in that's the trouble with the east wind it's not very nice around here this is where the potatoes are now if you can remember last week i earthed them all up and covered them all up because we had that bad weather coming and if you look at it now they've all popped through again and this is where we'll start and put the nemeslug on in a few moments. These are the first earlies that we planted in this raised bed. Now these were all mulched down a week ago and nothing was showing. And as you can see they've really pushed their way through. What I shall actually do now is as soon we'll give it maybe another few days but if the weather does warm up I should take the lids off and leave them open a bit so they can get some air to them which will make them grow better okay right we're down on plot D now garlic's doing quite well not quite as strong as I'd like but it's with us so we're all right we will get garlic bulbs from them there's a few more that side of the path they'll be fine now while we're down on plot d this is where i'm going to put the courgettes or zucchinis they'll be here this end will be two gold or yellow ones and at that end two green ones and I can assure you those four plants will be far too much for what we want but we'll lose them these are the ones we're putting in they're called gold mine and they was from Marshalls but I'm only going to put two lots of three in at the moment these will be direct sown and then we'll put the cover on them and they'll be up in no time at all don't think down here and behind these frames there should be any problem with frost but if there is going to be a frost I should just bring some fleece down now remember these are quite big plants when they're grown up so it wants to be a minimum of two foot in so we'll do it here we do one there very wet and let's say one here so we'll have two lots of three just around there look. it's ideal with the ground being so wet nice big seeds these can't go wrong if you can just plant them on the edge it does help but if it doesn't happen it doesn't help now three I hope two come up and if three comes up will be a bonus okay what I'm going to do is just pop a little stick in so when I'm hoeing I'll know that there's some seeds in there there you are look if you can plant them on the edge that's fine the centre tend to uh, throw the leaf up easy when they're on the edge but if you can't don't worry then just 
just to cover very sticky nut now and we'll put a marker in just to say that beware when you hoe it now that's the two of the four cores yet in we'll put the other ones in later but I just want to put this cover on them just give them a little bit of protection and to keep the pigeons off when they do come up it's just a net cover but it's enough just to keep them a little bit warmer in there as well with all this rain the rhubarb has grown another six or seven inches we'll go down and have a look now you can see how much growth the rhubarb is put on now we will harvest beginning of next week i think so i shall have to warn all the family that they've got some rhubarb coming to make some room in the freezers and to start cooking some nice pies okay now we're right down the bottom of the garden this is the greenhouse site as we call it now i have taken it to its final level at the front now unfortunately i've got a very bad knee it's been playing up for some time but it's got really bad just lately so i've been to the doctor now he's referred me to the specialist and i see him on the 4th of june so there'll be an ongoing thing for a short while i think we'll need a replacement knee it's really it's quite bad actually but we'll plod on we'll keep the garden going and you'll still be there i know <laughs> so let's go and put some nemeslug on these potatoes now this is the nemo slug that we're going to use quite simple to put on we just need a 10 litre can and a 5 litre can they tell you to water it on with a very coarse graded rose now I've tried them all and they all block up that I could get so I've come up with the idea that this was last year so I know it works so what I did last year I got this very reasonably priced rose and I just drilled a line of holes across it and I used that with this old can and it does the job beautifully it comes like this is a coarse powder actually and it says that there's 30 million whatever they are in there which is an awful lot but we need to put the whole of that into a 10 litre pot I'm going to put the whole lot into one of these 10 litre watering cans and mix it up well with this very reasonably priced spatula as well so there's your 10 litres there we don't need the rose on this rose it looks coarse but it's nowhere near that would just block up straight away so we need to put all these in there right so let's get in most of it will float and you have to stir it in if i remember right there it goes look it feed it in slowly and let it settle Just give it a little bit of a mix, it seems to be floating a little bit. Right, let's get the rest in. There you go. There's 30 million in there, so we want every one to come and work for us. That's it. Then we need to give it a good stir. Uh, stir it up well. Now, if you get 
the smaller packet obviously you won't want 10 litres it'll probably be 5 litres but just follow the instructions quite straightforward keep mixing no rush make a good job of it because it matters That's it, we'll leave it spinning for a bit. If you can get one of these, it's ideal. I'll right, we'll just pop it in there for a second. It says that we now have to measure 0.5 litres into a 5 litre watering can and then fill up with water. Now, to save me looking all over the can, I've got this old milk carton and I put 5 lit 0.5 litres in and I've marked it where it comes to so if I do the same in there into the can and then top up with water we know we've done it properly. Just give it another stir and then we'll tip it out. I think the main thing with this is to keep stirring it while you're using. Okay. So let's, let's do that to the five. Yeah, that's a lot easier, look. There you go. There's the can. It's all marked on here, but to get it to 0.5, you'd have to mark it right down there. And I don't think you could see through this very well. So let's tip that in again. Keep it moving, don't forget. And tip that in. There you go. And then I'm going to use this can. And these are all water out of the tank, so there's no actual tap water, this is all rainwater. And then it says we need to top that up to about five litres. Which is... A little bit more on that ledge to that ledge. That's it, to five litres. We'll go and put this one on a couple of lines of potato I'll show you how this coarse rose works so, so here we are plot C the potato beds and what I should do is do these two rows here for you now when you're going to put them a slug on or any of these things the soil needs to be damp and hopefully there's rain on its way if there's no rain on its way you're going to have to water it in luckily for us we forecast rain an hour ago so we might get some by tonight if not I should just put the hose on and just give it a sprinkling over but the ground is nice and wet they should take in but they need washing in okay again Give it a mix, keep it mixed, and then it's just a case of watering on straight on the plants, everything doesn't hurt. And if you put it down the row, then they'll find their own way in, okay? I have to move pretty quick because it's quite a coarse hole. Right, there we go, look. Straight down, and then back. And then down the next one. And then back. And it's as simple as that to put the Nama slug on. Remember, it must be washed in now. So hopefully the rain, well, it's a bit late, but it, there are some clouds about. Hopefully it'll rain if it doesn't. I will just hand hose it across, okay? Now, I shall busy myself and I shall finish all of the garden with it. 
I start with the potatoes and then the brassicas and then work my way up. The downside with doing doing this now it's mixed. We've got to put it on. So I shall say goodbye to you and I shall be busy doing this. So that'll be it for this week. Many many thanks for watching. I do believe summer is definitely on its way now because when the sun does come out it is quite warm. So enjoy your week. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you next week. Bye now.